Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Panzer Strategy where I'll be playing the Operation Sea Lion scenario here. Let's continue where we left off which is the first stage of the operation still the destruction of the enemy navy and uh, yeah we got one of our destroyers destroyed by the enemy forces. Now they got some reinforcements in here and I'll be well trying to take them out so if I it's one two three four five if I move in here I can at the very least again hit both of these and again I'm primarily looking to destroy their anti-aircraft guns which I did here nice Because after I destroy the anti-aircraft guns, uh, then I can actually start bombing them as well. Uh, I still have these destroyers out here. Alright, the anti-aircraft guns are gone, at least on the two destroyers. There's still the county class, but... Um, I I would have a very hard time actually getting the anti-aircraft guns on that. So, because I can bomb twice with this unit, I believe so. Yeah. It's going to move out. Yeah, you know, take my damage and finish it off. I already knew that I was going to take the hit, so nothing else to be done there. Um, there aren't any more ships around this area, so I might just as well go and use these here and then move in closer, finish them off with the torpedoes and start attacking the They can't fire back anymore, so that shouldn't be a problem and... Yeah, I can't target them anymore. Okay, let's at least use the sub. And I can even attack like that. Because the enemy has been destroyed, at least. For the most part. Let's get that. Use the bomber still. There we go. That's the last of the enemy navy in this area. And that means that I can now start focusing on the ground assault here. Uh, because the enemy will not be receiving any more reinforcements either. So let's get these guys out. And they I'm, I'm not going to start sending ships over to the British mainland. Okay, out here. Definitely getting some of my guys back. Now, these two destroyers can double as anti-aircraft, and so I will definitely do that. Let's see, because this fighter might get over anti-aircraft on the way. I don't think they would. No. Seems I just keep getting the hits. <clears throat> okay. There we go. That's gone. Okay. Up here. Mm, let's just send out the submarine as well. For a bit of scouting. Two destroyers. Well, you have... You can attack at the very le least without moving here already. Okay, they have quite a, a few here. Okay, that's already a nice hit. They have five range guns and these already again six. Let's focus on this one. 
Next up will be the five range guns. Okay, how damaged are they? Not too badly, unfortunately. Okay. And since I cannot use any anti-aircraft guns on these guys, I have to be a lot more careful. Um, let's go to the, this side. So, these are four range. And these three. This is also a four range gun. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's move ahead a bit. At this rate, these guys are badly hit. And I'll use the three range guns. To attack these two in depth. Okay, you also have three range guns out here. Only these guys are left at full strength. Okay, they've pretty much lost their ability to fight. Let's use the torpedoes. Damage some of the hull. And I will move in closer again. Okay, so their guns are entirely destroyed. Not so much with both of these, but I still have my own destroyers. Now it's here. That one is down. Move you here, revealing the enemy bomber. And that's not really an issue. All right, now that the enemy navy is gone in this sector too, um, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> so that means that I can start sending out my uh, my ships too. Let's just take care of the aircraft first. So these guys are all used. They have moved. They as well. Just gonna have to see which forces I want to get off onto transports first here. Um, because it does cost three points for every unit. Let's get you guys out there. You. Uh, I should. Okay, I can't do that right now. That's okay. I'll just move them closer. I guess getting them on a ship takes points or whatever. All right, they're all close as close as possible. These guys will land first, then take off again, and try to protect these up here. These could land already, uh, but I'd rather do that on the next turn. So they'll just get some coverage, and next turn they will go and land. Over here. I'll use the submarine to get closer to Ventur, and I want to get these small units out there too. So these will be trying to go there. I don't get to do anything out here. These have been used. And I suppose these have to go back. And, um, okay, not all of them. But I would rather, again, not risk an air engagement because the enemy still has too many air forces, even though we already took some of them out, which was nice. 
I do have to say that, even though I did take quite a bit of damage on my planes here. Like just repairing this alone will cost me around 100. Which is a lot, so... Just, uh... Not the best there. Okay, um... Again, I, I don't want to already land there on the next turn, but I do want to clear out the units that need to go soon enough. Um, yeah, let's get all of my units out here, very close to the harbor, so I can ship them out and transport them immediately on the next turn. Let's go. Then the paratroopers uh, will also be coming in a bit closer. Um, yeah, definitely, but not too close. Let's use zoom and boom. Just in case. Okay, which units are left? You. All the way out here. Both of these will move as well. Then I probably have some fighters which are already Okay, most of these have already moved. You don't have any more movement. Okay. Well, that's it for this turn. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Well. These guys sure aren't able to land yet. But no worries. Okay, let's land you. All oh, right, they aren't infantry, so they cannot do that. Guess they, they won't on this turn, but you guys can. At least land here. Move into the port and take that. Quite important. It's strange that once you do that, they can't move anymore, even though they technically have one movement left. I think that's a bit strange. Oh well. Okay, that doesn't reveal anything. Don't want to get too fancy with uh, moving around. All right, there we go. Mm, I do have to <laughs> be a bit careful, otherwise I won't be able to get all of my force across. It will take some time before they get there because I don't really do have a lot of points left. And unfortunately, okay, one thing. This is 37 millimeter. I think all of my ships have 37 millimeter flak. <laughs> the nice thing is I can actually move these again. Let's at least destroy those, then move down. Another unit which has two anti aircrafts. Hmm. Yep, 
Yeah, I can't do that there indeed. Okay, so I have to get these guys out here. Land them. And take this. And now they should be able to land. No suitable area for landing. That's just a lie, I think. Because we own that now. Um, that's strange. Either way, we do know that they have some guys out there, but we can't get to them now. At least not yet. Well, let's just take the depot. Ah, finally. And I did have no other paratroopers in the area, I think. Indeed, no, but this is very important. Any other region with range to there is this is the Gneiss now it must remain afloat Sharnhorse too. But this destroyer would suit me just fine. Destroy that air aircraft. Nice. Um I again don't want to use my air forces until I have anti aircraft over this region. Uh, Anti-aircraft support. I'm still using everything I got here. On those. Next up will be the infantry down there. That's gone. Go after the bunker. The unfortunate thing about this game is that I actually have to lower the sound every time one of these cannon cannons roar, simply because it's so loud. Okay, will you allow me space to disembark here? Yes, you do. Great. I'll just take all of that. And I can actually get the destroyer up close, finish off the bunker. Good. So we've made the initial landings, and the question is, what do I want to bring across now? I actually want to bring across the anti-aircraft gun. Which seems real strange. But with the aircraft anti-aircraft gun around, I feel at least somewhat safer getting my air forces a little bit closer here and I still want to put them right next to each other so they can mutually support one another but at the very least I think we're a bit more safe and let's see where that fighter is the auxiliary fighter which is what I'm looking for here and where are you? Messerschmitt. Here we are. Exactly, because I need it to do this and then zoom and boom as well. So it can keep up the initiative. I have two points left, so I, I can't ship more forces away for this turn. Unfortunately, we'll see how many I have on the next turn, though. For now, I'll strive to keep all these guys as close as possible. Let's see what units are next. Yeah, you... Huh? Yeah, that's, that's odd. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Take it. Uh, you can't move. I'm just primarily looking at the planes right now.
making sure that they land. Uh, sure, let's let's actually land all of these and start afresh. Except for this, and yeah, you will land too. Definitely on low fuel. That's that's just no good. I will try to cover some of these landing forces here. I'm keeping that bomber inside. I think that's probably it. Let's just take a look at this here. Can't really use all of these. And it's primarily about my planes and my ships. Where are you from? down here but oh yeah they're at eight strength that should be decent enough there are five I'd rather keep them in port or in uh, on the airfield These can come into action on the next turn, and the last one is probably down here with you guys. And there's a destroyer here, still has movement. You as well, let's get you over here and attack at Benport. All right, that's it. Here comes an enemy plane, like I said. Another enemy plane. Able to just, oh, okay. huh. On the west of Ipswich stands a British airfield. That is where the Brits conducted tests for the prototype of the newest fighter, Spitfire V. According to reconnaissance, it is still at the airport. It is mandatory we check the airfield and seize the enemy's secret aircraft. Yeah, it kind of is. Okay, I really need to... G oh, yeah, okay, you can move now. They'll give me at least some intel here. I'm looking to get the depot first before the airfield. I uh, didn't get the best information yet. So let's just use the... Let's use that navy. It's destroyed, perfect. That <laughs> gets me at least a depot. I'm gonna move to Lime Regis as well now, but first of all, let's just get that submarine out. I will move here, get a bit of information upon the enemy. And 
And they have a range of four, so they can actually attack this already. It's destroyed. Nice. Let's take the airfield, and there's another unit right next to it. Unclear what that is so far. Mm, but at least we now have a couple of forces going. So I can set up a perimeter to make sure that the artillery is safe. With my infantry. Uh, till where can you move? All right, let's let's block. Oh, they have something there. Well, let's still block the road because if they move on to that, and then yeah, they will easily get destroyed there. Okay, not gonna cross with any of those guys for now. Hmm. How far can you go? Definitely not as far as I would have liked. But I think it's unlikely this is an anti-aircraft gun. And so I would be willing to bomb it. Also with incendiaries. I think it's an infantry. There we go. That's what I was looking for. It's fleeing now. Mm, I think, though, it still might only be accessible by airfield. Let's just take a look. If I do this... Okay, they can go in here, but indeed they didn't get attacked because they surrendered. Let's take the harbor. And I don't need to do anything else with these guys, so I'm going to move you further down to land out here all right the enemy air force has been crippled but uh, they can also be outright destroyed here first of all let's use our anti-aircraft guns on these planes and I don't have that much intel on the enemy just yet, so I'll move up ahead. Where's my recon? Here we are. Uh, because I do want to have the maximum use out of my units here. Um, yeah, sure. Okay. There's something there, huh? It seems to be a bunker, but I'm not 100% sure. Well, I will damage it. That's down now. Okay, you guys are moving further south. Um, if I get the intel on these, that would be great. If not, I guess I won't. Uh, I have three movement left. Don't want to overdo it and move way too far. Especially if it's raining, like right now. Uh, landing is impossible. Okay. Well, let's get some artillery out because that's definitely something that we need. And unfortunately, I can't move another unit in there. It's really sucky.
Mm. Right. Let's move you further down the side. And I'm just doing this to remove, <laughs> remove the sound and it worked perfectly. Um, you can move here. An attack. Okay, hopefully that diminishes the threat a little bit. And I'll have the anti aircraft gun stick it out here. Don't want them to engage any enemy forces. I have the artillery, it's in a truck at the moment. Which is unfortunate. But nothing we can do. Okay, so they did get a couple more planes out there. Again, I'm, I'm going to try and keep my planes safe. The enemy can't attack probably with most of their planes right now. Oh. That doesn't matter too much. And I still want to primarily focus at the moment on staying safe. It means that all these troops are not going to move at least for a while now. However, I think I'm fine going out here. That's not an anti-aircraft gun for sure. So... Let's bomb it. Not bad. Very nice. And I'm pretty sure that uh, that's the end of it then. Except for this fighter. So we're all set and ready to go. Yeah, pretty much. Intelligence reports the British column of heavy tanks sent to defend London was stuck in Northampton after using up <laughs> all the fuel tried to capture those machines. The British will not be able to provide effective resistance on those stationary tanks. No, that's that's not very smart indeed. Okay, um, let's take Lime Regis. Another depot under our control. Excellent. That will allow me to move further north. Definitely. Now, uh, yeah, I really don't get that many command points. We have a report on the occupation of Wentor. Now the Isle of Wight is under our control. Yep. Okay. I have no real vision here either. But I know there's a unit there. This is a three range gun, so I can move up here and still shell whatever is here. And get these guys down here to attack this again. Ah, it's an anti tank gun. Okay, not to worry then. It's moving close. That's destroyed. Perfect. 
that will allow me to move further ahead. At least with those units without a truck, I have no other choice but to move like this. Mm. Yeah, they can cross the river on the next turn. Let's get another artillery across. I don't need the tanks so far. <laughs> I need mostly command points, but I'm not getting enough. I Yeah, that's unfortunate. Let's try to get up in here. So they, I'm not sure what that is yet. That's okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's move further down the coast here. Do know they have something out there. Um, like I said already, there's no support up here. So I wanna bring my artillery over to those positions. Uh, because there's nothing else for me to do like this. Um, I'm going to take a bit of a risk. No damage whatsoever. I guess it's time for... My biggest concern again is anti-aircraft and it seems like there is none here. Still, I need to be careful. I can't be too, too hasty. It would be exceptionally dangerous to move like that, but what I can do though is disembark with you out there. Move in here, and this is likely an infantry. So I'll move in here and I should be safe at that point. At least that's what I'm hoping. Um, yeah, none of these can move once more. I do remember that at Norway, I just got a whole lot of points, but not during this one. Um, I'm gonna set these guys over to move in here and just guard that northern area again as well. Okay, there again, it's very unlikely that they have anti-aircraft here, but they might have it all the way there. And up there for sure. Let's just land these forces for a bit. And yeah, I, I can't get too close here. So let's just move this way. and get them out once again. Uh, you're still staying here on this side, excellent. And that's it. Hmm. 
Okay. Just an enemy bomber. Well, I already said that resistance would be light. And indeed it was. Okay. Um, also, like I previously said, there are a lot of turns. And... Well, that doesn't mean that I don't have to worry, but... It... Does mean I have the time to secure my objectives. Mm. Yeah, I'll make the crossing on the next turn and then move on to Bristol. Uh, which I cannot do yet now. Take the airfield. Um, wait. Ah, oh, it's there. Okay. Well, <laughs> that gave me some good data. Okay, so they they actually do have quite a force here. Building an anti-aircraft gun, but taking down the anti-aircraft gun means I'll be able to bomb here, and that would be really good. Still have these. Okay. Well, uh, as I said, now that, that those are clear, that will open up the way for me to start bombing. Let's get the railroad station. Let's go. Excellent, and I'll aim to get a fighter on that uh, that hex there. Hmm. All right, let's just wait for a bit and see which bombers I will have left. Let's uh, let's continue here first. Um. Yeah. Just attack like this. Out of ammo? Where do they get their ammo? Mm, maybe in the port? Hmm. Huh. Well, we'll see. First of all, though, yeah, these are also almost out of... Uh, out of guns. Let's, let's just get closer again. Just a... Uh, Take this, make him surrender, getting some good intelligence data. And this is on artillery. Hmm. Well, it won't <laughs> be used uh, anytime soon. So. There we go. 
you're probably also almost out of ammo here. Yeah. Which air forces do we have? We still have this. These. Okay. It's unfortunate they, they can't move through there. I don't, I don't think they can at the very least. Yep, yeah, you'll stay there to protect all the other guys. And they will land for now. Move back out and protect them here. Okay, not bad. Once I've taken Portsmouth with the forces in here, they will start moving up north uh, through these woods and then also try to get to Gloucester. Because I already said that Oxford, yeah, we'll, we'll see whether Oxford will be left to, to those guys. Um, I expect London to be a, a tough nut to crack surely well let's get you out start moving so finally we have some tanks out there as well bits of rise by the movement of these units oh what they still we got a counterattack, even though I. Uh, okay. All right. Um, you're all across. Like I said, let's get you up north, and I can't bomb all of it if they one two three four uh all right let's take a risk here well that ended well enough Any fighters that don't have it yet, I will definitely give altitude here. And that will make sure that uh, they'll be safe. Definitely not attacking. All right, once again, I'm good and ready to go. Let's start getting these guys across now too, but I'm gonna set them onto the airfield first. Yep, <laughs> let's let's stay there. Okay, you're all set, ready to go. These submarines will also go in there. I'm fairly confident there's no enemy reinforcements, but still. Mm. Let's move out there. And that's pretty much it for this turn, once again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that counterattack was to be expected. Matilda is tough, but won't deal too much damage. Our agents report that in the forest on the right bank of the river Avon, a partisan camp with sufficient supplies of weapons is now located. 
after British regular troops retreated from this area. These weapons will help to wage our war. We need to send our units there to find and export stored weapons. Hmm. Yeah, we, we kind of do, I suppose. Um, yeah, let's, let's cross here. Um, this is, I guess, the, the final turn I'm going to play for now. Uh, let's take a bit of a peek. I think a large part of this game, like, it's very, things are pretty unclear like this. It's just, you can hardly see what's going on. That's that's never good, you know. We have seized Portsmouth. Control over this large port city will help us far better to supply our troops in England. It will. Take those. Take the airfield, and this is pretty much where our forces already link up. So you're you're going back, and like I said, I'm going to start moving up now, and just see what we can do out there, since there's nothing left to take in this area. I will try and destroy the bunker, but. No, actually, let's send these guys over to London because these bunkers can be destroyed with planes and there's no real need. Oh, well, <laughs> I forgot I can't use that on this turn. Very smart of me. Let's just land for now, get out again. You can land too. And get out again. Okay. Ha! <laughs> I get to level up the Sharnhorst, but it doesn't have any abilities. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, the, that's unfortunate. I can't move up to the hex right above it. Yeah. It's a damn shame. No. And I'm not going to waste my points in trying to get it onto a transport. I don't need the infantry for that anymore. Alright. I will attack, but I don't think it will have, uh, help. Then move ahead. Hmm. Some pretty decent results even. Yeah, con convinced uh, to destroy that. That way I don't need to do it with other troops. Nice. No, it's just some lumber. I, I guess if I am, yeah, if I am de dealing damage, I might just as well move. Uh, they have one ammo left, and I want to use this ammo over at London. Then it's the only area where I can still attack. Oh, they do get additional ammunition in here. Ah, it's very nice. Uh, it's there now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's the five range guns. Ah, uh, it's a shame they can't move in closer. <laughs> Ooh, another enemy. That's probably a, a, a gun. Or uh, just a bunker. 
What do I want to transfer next? I think the Panzer. Or right, the Command Panzer here. And there was something I can level up. Ooh, okay. That will be fire discipline then, plus one ammunition. Not bad. Because it currently gets none from the depot. Or what about down here? It provides some ammunition. Uh. Well, I'll attack the recon, which is now badly hurt. But, to be honest, I'd rather pull back with you for now. And if I put you in the woods, you in here, you in here. Now I'm, I'm again, relatively safe, and I'll get these guys down here here for some supplies which is horrible getting the tank across doesn't help me that much either but I do think I can shell there now if I had a bomber that could do the job I would use it Okay, let's again take a risk. No anti-aircrafts. Very nice. And that's a great boon to the war effort. For sure. Let's move you down here. And I need to... Get you to an airfield. Wow. Okay, let's cover. Provide some more air cover. Up here. Perfect. And now I can move the tanks across with relative safety. I don't know what they have there, or they have some glitches there, but. Ah, you can move. Nice. Let's move into the woods first. Because that'll give me some better detection. Attacking this is a bit too risky. Some medium depot. If you can take South and London, that would already be quite nice. No real reason to rush it, though. I want to cross fair and square. Yeah, I'll try to stay as far from that as possible. Let's just cross like this for now. And that should do fine. Enemy probably doesn't see us even. And that's it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Don't know what's happening, but I did see that anti-aircraft gun. So we know that they have a four-range anti-aircraft gun on that particular hex to worry about. Either way, I'm going to wrap things up here, and I'll be finishing this mission in the next episode. So I want to thank you all for watching once again. Do hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you all in the next episode. Um, yeah, see you there.